I'm Addison Jones. I'm uh, happy to share a story that uh, has impacted my life. It uh, happened 48 years ago in 1973 when I was in the Navy as a pilot aboard the USS Independence. That year in 73 was a happy one for me. Uh, I had our first son and he was born in November and I missed it because the Navy called me back to the carrier because if you all right, re might remember, the Yom Kippur War was going on in the Mediterranean between Egypt and Israel. So I went back to the ship and 48 hours later, I got a message that I had a brand new son and the message was everything was well. Well, that wasn't the whole story. I called home later when I got a chance to get on to land and found out that our first son born had lots of complications. Uh, he survived it all and I was very thankful. Well, that probably was the December since he was born in November on the 19th. In Athens, downtown, they have an Episcopal, an Anglican Episcopal church that is in a, it's a brick building and it's surrounded by a wrought iron fence. And you've seen them all, the ones that you can uh, have the uh, pointed tops and things like that. Well, I thought that I would go to the Christmas service and uh, say a real thank you to the Lord for what uh, had occurred to us and, and that our son had survived. Well, I, I got off the ship and took a bus to downtown Athens and then walked over to the Episcopal Church, which was surrounded by this fence that was kind of imposing, but inside, as you waited for the doors to open, uh, the congregation was waiting and you had tombstones around you because it, it was surrounded by a cemetery. Well, through the wrought iron fence, were uh, little Greek boys and girls with their hands reaching through the fence. And their hands were open and they're asking for gifts or alms or whatever. And everybody that was outside the church at that time, it was very uncomfortable to seeing these hands reaching through the fence, asking for gifts. Well, we all kind of went from one foot to the other and finally the church opened up and we go inside. We go inside and the service was beautiful. And I had a chance to really pray and, and thank, for all, thank for all the things that I had been given. And then it has hit me. All those kids out there, all they wanted was a little bit of money. And I had money in my pocket and I hadn't taken an opportunity to really give it at that time. So through the service, all I could think of was the hands reaching through the, the railings. And I was the first one out of the church at the end of the service. I was going to pull all the money in my pocket and I went running out to the yard and out to the fences and no one was there. Not one child was there. And it just hit me that the opportunity to give to these kids was before the church started. After the church, there was no one there to give to. The lesson to me was you don't always pick the time when you can give, but when the opportunity to give is given to you or is provided to you, take advantage of it.